Hey y'all, uh, how do you use your bullet journal for work? I have a spread that I am playing around with and wanted to share with you what I'm doing. Uh, this is in my work bullet journal. This is the Baron Fig Confidant in the smaller size. And I use it in conjunction with my everyday planner in my bullet journal, as well as my Google Calendar. So inside, this is where I just take notes of all the stuff that's related to work and stuff that I don't need to reference in terms of like to-do items. So I was trying to get a sense of all of these projects that I was working on, and they all involve multiple steps. So I wanted to try this Kanban board idea that I got from somebody on Bujo U. And he was saying it was a very simple, you know, dot dot method, but I've kind of added my own twist and color, of course. So I'll walk you through what that looks like. Okay, so in here are my marketing tasks. I'm in charge of marketing for the program I work for at work. And I just split it up so that I had tasks on one side and all of these stages on the right hand side. For this, I filled in with the passion markers that are the highlighters that they have. I love these so much just because the colors all go together, they're muted, and they don't really go through the paper. So I did that not because I had a plan for every single row, but because it leaves me room to grow. As you know, in my monthly logs, I always leave kind of another area that's blank because you just never know what is gonna come up for you that month or that week, and leaving room to grow allows you the space for stuff that emerges. So I just kept some of these categories that I was aware of and then had blank ones from here. This is what I mean. So this first one is a little stopwatch for it got started. And then this little hammer is showing that like I did some work on it. This one is a sand timer that I got from Tiny Ray of Sunshine for waiting on. This is a squig squiggly arrow for following up. This is another waiting icon. Because, you know, if you've ever worked on a multi-stage project, there's always a lot of waiting. And then another follow-up. Then all of these are blank until the last one, which is a check mark for complete. So this is my twist on what um, this guy shared. But I just put little dots as to the status. That's where I'm at with that task. So, for example, digital letterhead. It had gotten started. And then now I'm waiting. And then for a different one, emailing admissions. I started it, worked on it, now I'm waiting. So I just drew little circles for that's where I am on that, that task. It's kind of like a Kanban board, right, where you have status for each task where it's got started, working on, and complete. But this one is just a little bit more nuanced. And then an example of something that is done would be social. We wanted to make an announcement that we moved, so we added dots up until this point where I was waiting because it was delegated to somebody and then it got done so now it's over here. Um, I'm still playing around with it so I'm trying to decide if I want to just keep it as the dots or add like the typical bullet journal x out but right now it allows me to just quickly see like oh this one's done and this is where I'm at with these and I will leave these blank for a task that comes through as needing a specific status I didn't have it you know th these don't cover it so I need to add another one I think this helps allow me room to grow into using these other icons if I need them but for now it allows me to just be like okay these are all the things I don't need to keep in my mind I'm just waiting for them I don't need to be actively working on them for anybody else but it helps me keep track so just a little short Kanban board that might be helpful to you or you can twist to do something else for your tasks so what do you think do you think you'd use this is there anything that you might try this out for I would love to hear in the comments if you like this video Feel free to like, subscribe, share. If this is something you want to see more of, definitely let me know. Otherwise, I just hope that you enjoy it, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!